Hello everyone and today I am going to be doing a new type of video and I'm going to be showing you guys five books that I believe will be five star ratings for me. I saw another YouTuber do this. Um, her name is Gabby Reads and I love her channel so so much so go check her out because I originally got this idea from her. I thought it was a really cool original idea. So basically the point of this is I tell you guys five books that I think I will rate five stars and then after I read them all then I will let you guys know what I actually ended up rating them. So since I want to have my channel be unique to other channels I don't want to just fully take an idea from someone else so I will make it my own and the difference with mine is that I will be rating my confidence level on how much I think it'll end up being a five star book like I explained that badly. Give me a second. So I will tell you, the first book I tell you is the one I'm most confident about and I will go down the line. I'm very confident that these will all be five star books but I do have them ranked in order of which ones I am most confident in because they're the first two on this list. Like if it is not a five star I will be like, I don't even know, devastated, so so shocked. And then as you get down the list I'm a little less confident but I am pretty confident that they will all end up being five stars but you never know. So I plan to have this posted on Wednesday, January 30th. I don't know if that'll work out because I always try and get videos posted at a decent time and then I don't always end up getting it posted by that time. Sometimes I'm just slow about it and sometimes things come up and then also sometimes my laptop, the upload will fail and then I'll have to redo it. So hopefully it'll be up by Wednesday and I know Wednesday is supposed to be cold for pretty much everyone. I know where I live it's supposed to be so so cold and it's scary that people are gonna freeze and like it's just so scary and I know for people in warmer states like Florida it is supposed to get cold for them like it's supposed to freeze and for them that's really scary because their buildings and houses are not built for that. They don't have the correct clothing to deal with freezing weather because they don't have to really deal with it. So I know today can be a scary and intimidating day for everyone. So I hope this video can bring you some joy. So make sure to watch this video cuddled up in a blanket and make yourself a warm beverage and let's talk about books. So the first book on this list I don't own yet because it's not out until March something and that book is A Crystal in Time by Soman Chinami. Um, this series means the world to me like it's really what got me a avid reader that reads all the time and the very first book um, for the school for good and evil um, I it's the first book I remember staying up late to read. I had never, I, that not that I remember, willingly stayed up late reading a book that wasn't for school or something like that. Like I just enjoyed it that much that I stayed up until like midnight finishing this book. And that was like the first time I really, really loved reading, was reading that book. So this series means so much to me and I love it. A Crystal in Time is the fifth book of this series and I pre-ordered it. Um, so and Shinami's books are the only books I've actually ever pre-ordered in my life. I pre-ordered A Quest for Glory also. I got a signed copy of that. I'm also getting a signed copy of A Crystal in Time. I'm so hyped to read this and if it is not a five star read I will be so shocked that's why it's number one on this list is because if I don't give that a five star rating I don't know what I will give a five star rating to. Second book on this list is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. I started this series a little after Christmas. I got the trilogy for Christmas so I started it and I love it so much. I understand why people love Sarah J. Mass so much now and I definitely want to start, um, what's it called? A Throne of Glass. I don't know why I couldn't think of that because it's such a popular series but yeah I am so excited to read this. Right now I am reading um, A Court of Mist and Fury and I'm loving it so far. I loved A Court of Thorns and Roses. I rated it 5 out of 5 stars. Like I said I'm just starting the second book so I don't know what I'm going to rate it but I love it so far and I definitely feel like I will rate that one 5 stars and I definitely think I will rate this one 5 stars and I will be shocked if any of the books I don't rate 5 out of 5. Let's just talk about for a second like I love the covers of like the 
Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. Like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. The third book on this list is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagin. And I recently just got this book. It is a signed copy and this book has so, so much hype. And I feel like there is obviously a reason. People don't hype up a book for no reason. I typically like hyped books, so I feel like there's a very good chance that I will give this 5 out of 5 stars. Lots of the time I give books that people don't like high ratings like I have an unpopular opinion in that way but typically when a lot of people like a book I also end up liking it there's a few exceptions to that but lots of the time I'm a big fan of like the really hyped books and it seems like this book is going to be super unique because everybody seems to love it and there has to be a reason so that is why this is third on my list and I believe I will rate it five out of five stars the fourth book on this list is Fangirl by Rainbow Relu, and I don't know if it's her last name right. I've seen people talk about her in videos, and I've heard her last name, and I just can't think of how to pronounce it now. But anyways, I feel like I will rate this 5 out of 5 stars because it is another hyped book, and so many people seem to love it, and people say her character is super easy to relate to, and just, like, it made them, like, feel good about themselves and because they, like I said, related to her. I don't really have much else to say about this book besides I feel like I'll really like it because I'll really relate to the main character and really like her from what I've heard from other people. So, yeah, that's why this is fourth on the list. Fifth book and final one on this list is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. And I wasn't sure if I should put this on the list or not. Um, I questioned it for a while when I started thinking about making this video. I kept questioning if I wanted to put this on the list or a different book. And I decided to because it sounds like a really cool fantasy. I've heard really good things about it. And, I mean, I love fantasy books and it sounds like a really cool, unique fantasy. And so I decided to put it on this list. But it's definitely last because I am least confident about this one. Like I said, I wasn't even sure if I should put this on the list. But I feel like I have a very high chance of rating this 5 out of 5 stars. So I decided to end up putting it on the list after all. So that is the five books that I believe will be very great reads for me and will end up being five stars. Um, the video, I'm going to, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I will be doing a reaction video to this video and telling you guys if I rated them five out of five stars or if I rated them less and what I thought about them. That video, it'll definitely be a few months until that video is out because for one thing, I'm not just going to read these back to back. I have other books I also want to read between now and then. And also, A Crystal in Time doesn't come out until March 5th, and I'm going to get it a few days after that, so it can't be until I read that book, so it'll definitely be into March, but it'll probably be later than that, because like I said, I'm not reading all these books back to back, I have other books I haven't read between now and then, so it'll probably be sometime around April, May, I'm guessing, but I don't really know, but anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you read any of these books or would like to read any of these books. And let me know if you did read them, what you rated them, and what you thought of them. And make sure if you do put any spoilers to, like, put the spoiler thing because I do not want to be spoiled. And I bet there's other people who also would not like to be spoiled. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!